Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into this show today. Now, today's episode, we're taking a look at the classic City Double Cash, a card that rarely has intro offers, but this time they're giving you $200 back. So, of course, we'll cover this offer, terms and conditions, requirements, and eligibility. Everything you need to know to make City's money become your money. So, of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now, as always, you have a direct offer link down below. This is a public offer. Once upon a time, we had links for city cards, but they took them all away for whatever reason. Uh, so it gets you where you need to go the fastest. And of course, we'll go over the card itself, and as well as some strategies. And like you know, a two percent card isn't super exciting to most of us, but you know, there's still some strategies to make this better a year from now on top of earning an offer. I've done this myself, so we'll talk about that as well. Uh, but let's get to work here, taking a look at the uh, the offer itself. And here we have it. We have some good promotional art. On the top half where the card is, there's not really any happy people. I mean, at the bottom, I guess those people are kind of happy. They look outside, but I guess that makes some people happy. Anyways, let's get to work here. What do you need to do to be happy like these people? Um, well, requirements, pretty simple. Apply and be approved for a new city double cash credit card. And of course, you do need to spend $1,500 in the first six months of account opening. And just like that, uh, the, it is going to be uh, easy money. Now, technically, City, uh, their cards are similar to Chase, if you're familiar with those, which we talk about those way more, and the fact that you're paid out in thank you points, that's like, you know, their version of Ultimate Reward Points or MR Points, so you're going to be paid out 20,000 thank you points, but uh, City has recently updated their redemption so that, you know, you can actually cash out any amount of thank you points, and you can also pool thank you points together um, from different cards if you currently have uh, City cards that earn thank you points. Uh, redemptions, I mean, statement credit is an option they have transfer partners as well which we'll talk about because there is a, a, a new unique piece of this offer um, for the time being for a multiplier and of course you can actually cash out i believe to an external bank account as well which is very nice so i am a fan of thank you points overall and that was a good update uh, that city did a while back so again you could play this cash back you could play this travel depending on what you want to do uh, which is pretty nice but really that's all there is to this one um again six months and spend for 1500 bucks should be pretty easy if you want to knock that out all in one go then of course check out ProfitableContent.com. Over there, we have quite a few um, bank accounts and our credit union offers that allow for credit card funding. And I myself have been able to fund with City Cards uh, with no issue in the past. Again, the double cash before I switched, which we'll talk about, used to be my credit card or my bank account funding card at, at 2%. So I definitely take a look at those if you just want to knock this out and be done with it. Of course, do remember to uh, phone up and have your cash advance limit lowered to the lowest possible amount just to be safe. Uh, but with that, let's keep it moving here. We will take a look at the eligibility piece next. And of course, this is nationwide. Now, the only rule they list is you can't have received a double cash bonus in the past 48 months. So it's only been a year since I did this. So I'm out, but uh, you know, just 48 month churn time on this one. Um, there is no annual fee on this card, which is very nice. And then of course, you're gonna wanna keep this account open for one year, uh, which is because it is a credit card, but you don't wanna close this one. I'll tell you why in a second. Now. In case you missed it here, the or in case you're new, like brand new to the world of credit cards, looking at the City Double Cash, the City Double Cash is kind of like the default 2% card, right? There are others now, but back in the day, this was one of the first to cross that 2% uh, threshold on everything. It is a good catch-all credit card, as we say, for, you know, you don't have a high multiplier in anywhere else. And they do pay, it's basically split up. We say it's a 2% card, but it is 1% when you buy the thing and then another 1% back when you pay it. It does function that way. But again, for our purposes, because uh, everyone pays their bill on time, I think 2% is fine. Now, in addition to that, through the end of December of this, or no, actually, I'm sorry, through the end of next year, 2024, uh, you know, it's that weird time where we keep confusing the 2023 and 2024, you're going to earn 5% total cash back on select city travel bookings. So travel your way and make the most of your vacation with an additional 3% cash back. So the, the initial 2% plus 3% back on hotels and car rentals and attractions booked through the city travel portal. 
and you get that for a full year. That's likely them trying to match, you know, Chase, how Chase on all their main cards gives you 5% back through the travel portal. But if you have no other options, uh, you know, for travel cards, you're really more of a cashback person, then that could be something to take a look at. It's still 5%. Of course, if you're going to exercise that one, you always just want to make sure the booking price is going to be the same, going through City versus going directly. But, uh, you know, you feel free to value that how you wish. It could be a valuable multiplier for some. So, again, I'm a fan of the City Double Cash card, City cards as a whole, especially after that thank you point changeover that we talked about. Now, I myself got the Double Cash one because it had an intro off for the timing, and historically, because I, think, I assume they were the ones who crossed the 2%. For, now, I don't know if they were the first 2% card, but they were like the first big one to do it, I think. So anyways, they, they've never really had an intro offer, so $200 is the high mark. $1,500 in the spend is a bit silly, but it's fine, I think. Um, the reason I did it was, one, because that intro offer, they normally don't have one. But number two, it was to product change the double cash into my second custom cash. So again, the custom cash card. Not to confuse things here, but that is their 5% card on like a category, basically of your choosing. Um, you know, up to five hundred dollars in spend per month. Uh, you know, it it, dec it technically takes the top category in, that you spent and it gives you five percent. But ideally, you'd want to just pick the category yourself and only use that for you know gas or dining or what have you. Now, you know, the the benefit of having two custom cash cards is two five percent cards. Basically, you can pick the category on each. So one for me is gas, one is dining. That's just kind of the default. I put a piece of masking tape or scotch tape on the back, uh, whatever like the beige color tape is, and wrote gas and dining on on one. But anyways. The point is that it is getting a little bit more difficult from what I understand to product change into multiple custom caches, but it's not impossible. So I did it a few months ago and I was able to phone in and get it done no problem. I have talked to people who've had issue, but then they've called back a few times and they were able to get it done. So I still think it's a viable strategy. It's getting a little bit harder, but I haven't seen anything official that says that city is going to phase this out by any means. I haven't seen enough data points to say you can't do it anymore. So for me, I pick up this double cash card, get the $200, and then I, the earliest I've seen someone be able to product change, I think, is six months, because there is no annual fee, so the Credit Card Act doesn't necessarily come into play where they can't charge you an annual higher annual fee. If your product changes to a second custom cash, well, then there's no annual fee again, so you're still within the confines of the rule. A year is generally best practice to wait, and I did wait a year before I called in to make that change. Now, again, I keep saying second custom cash, because, again, if you're new here, you would always want to have get one custom cash first so you can get the intro offer on that card and then of course there's no intro offers on product changing you know but I don't believe they're just going to let you apply for 10 custom cash cards so this is a backdoor way to do it so for me that's why this offer is interesting it's less about the core card but more about grabbing easy 200 bucks and it is a catch-all card I used it religiously as my catch-all card for a year and then coming back later and then making it my second custom cash card that's the strategy I would run unless of course you are you know staying in the city thank you point world then I think it could make sense to keep and have a two percent card you know for catch-all and earning thank you points but of course let me know how you want to play that so anyways let's do summary slide here to bring us home and as we said the target is Citibank the product you're looking at is the double cash card it's paying out two hundred dollars I mean thank you points or twenty thousand thank you points however you want to look at it it is nationwide of course uh, the requirements as we said spend fifteen hundred dollars within the first six months of account opening it is a no annual fee card and you do want to keep it open for at least one year but as we just went into great detail uh, you probably want to keep it open for good and product changing is something down the road but anyways guys that's gonna do it for the city double cash card of course if this one is not for you then check out profitablecontent.com that's the channel's blog where we have the latest news stories we have bank promotions so you need some of that credit card funding and we have many other credit card offers so if you're looking for something else or something even more well we have those as well anyways guys that's gonna do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you very soon in the next one